Hello and welcome to a new video about applied control engineering. This time we want to analyze our control loop, the, count, the closed loop. Huh? Well, here this is my stuff. You know it from other videos. So we are controlling the temperature of this part here. We are measuring the temperature. We are controlling it through the PLTE element. And here on this Arduino there is a PID controller which is controlling all those the temperature. Currently it's adjusted to 30 degree yeah and I will do then a push of the button I will jump to 40 degree so I will do a reference value jump. Yeah? This is what I'm going to do and we want to, to uh, measure the rise time, we want to measure the overswing time, we want to measure the overswing width, we want to measure simply all those quality or uh, characteristics from the response, yeah? we want to see it. Yeah? So here currently, this is the recording, you see the temperature is currently 30 degrees, set point is 30 degrees, so we are leveled. Uh, the, the correcting variable is pretty much stable. Yeah? Uh, and the set point in is already set to 40 degree and I will trigger now this 40 degree pick. Yeah? We see the correcting variable immediately uh, reacting and now we should see the temperature reacting. Yes it does. Okay. So let's see how this is looking like. If this is like like we would imagine with a little overswing like we've discussed yeah like I said uh, I'm not entirely sure which PID parameters are currently adjusted there uh, we will see we, we just want to take the quality measures yeah so it does not really matter it seems to be stable because we've reached 30 degree uh, we will for sure produce an overswing already prepare here a little sheet that we can calculate. So 100% is now 10 degree. Uh, this, this is 100%. Now we see already a nice solid overswing. Uh, and we could we could tell already yeah, how big is this overswing. Uh, therefore and now this this tool here uh, this is really a nice tool uh, it helped me through a lot of commissionings and yeah so we can simply adjust here with two with two cursors yeah i will stop this recording yeah and here we'll put one cursor to here and i will one put one cursor to the maximum here somewhere around here yes and we see Aha, uh -huh. the difference between those two cursors is 89.5 seconds. So let's say the, the uh, rise time, or the overswing time, the overswing time is this. This is 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Dot 5 seconds, you know, it's not that accurate. And now we are simply assume we are getting to this value. Yeah? Ah, let's exclude this from our view so we are here somewhere yeah this would be the rise time the first time our controlled variable is reaching its stable end value assuming there is one yeah but i guess there is one yeah so and this would then be the rise time would then be 51.5 so let's say 51 rise time 51 seconds Okay, let's move this again. Now it's catching up to the reality, yeah. So there's nothing lost yeah, with this tool, what's actually quite nice. Okay, so 10 degree, 10 degree Celsius, where 100 percent, yeah. So the overswing. Here. What is the maximum? What is the maximum here? You can also adjust it and the maximum is 
44.63 Max 44.62 degrees Celsius 44.62 degrees Celsius If 10 degrees are 100% yeah, ha. So we have an overswing of 4 4.62 degrees Celsius. Okay. So 4.62. It's a little bit, you know, <laughs> too exact. Yeah. But doesn't really matter. Divided by 10. Yeah. So we have a uh, 46. 46 percent overshoot. Yeah. So u. u is 0.462 yeah? or 46.2 percent here this is almost half than the, the total jump okay and now what are two percent yeah? if 10 10 degree are 100 percent then divided by 100 multiplied by 2 yeah? 0.2 degree so we must be in the window of plus minus 0.2 degree yeah? so we are at 40 so we must be in the window of 39.8 to 40.2 40, yeah? 40 degree plus minus 0.2 yeah? let's see where we have this here we have a minimum of 39.3 this is here this is not good here the maximum 40.4 it's still not inside the window this one yeah this one minimum 39.8 oh here we are inside the window here we are inside the window already okay so this under swing here this is already inside the tolerance window of plus minus 0 to 2 degree so I will stop this again now we have to find the point here where we are dropping below here move this to the beginning so here you see cursor 2 that's the right hand cursor the actual value here, where at the position of the cursor, is 40.43. And now I'm moving this to the right until I am below 40.2. And this is here. Yeah, exactly. This is here. Here. So this is the setting time. Right? The setting time is 320 seconds. Now we have it. Yeah. Now we have it. All our quality criteria. Yeah. And this is really looking nice. Yeah. Let's see if we are still inside inside the window here with this overswing as well. So here maximum is 40.1. Yes. Seems like we are inside. This is good. And I guess we are stable here as well. Yeah, pretty much stable. Our correcting variable has stabilized. So you see, it really looks like in like in theory. And we just calculated rise time, setting time, overswing time, and overswing value, overswing width. Rise time we had 51 seconds from here to here. Overswing time from here to here, we had 90 seconds. Setting time from here to somewhere here, we had 320 seconds. And the overswing value was 46%. Okay. This is how you get those values. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.